today I wanted to do a video on ABCs, abstract based classes, and the abstract method decorator. So let's dive straight in. So I already um, mentioned this on the latest podcast, 108, um, but I wanted to dive a bit deeper today in the code. So we made this um, search tool for PyBytes content, and we set up a class called PyBytes Search, which has meta class ABC meta. And ABC meta comes from the ABC package in the standard library or library. Uh, and then we used an abstract method decorator and a normal method with some type hints, right? And what this does is it dictates the interface that we want um, subclasses to use. So any class that's subclasses uh, PyBytes search now is required to implement this method. Right? And then we had, went ahead and we wrote a bunch of classes to uh, to use this. So we have article that top classes PyBytes search and has to implement this um, match content method. Same for byte, same for tip, right? So, but let me show you um, what happens if you don't implement this, right? So let's say, let's say I would rename this method to match content two. And now it's not matching the original parent method anymore. So what would actually happen? And it actually uh, throws an error can't instantiate abstract class tip search with abstract method uh, match content. So what happens is um, as match content is not on the child class, it reaches out to the parent class, which is uh, base. And yeah, there it does find um, an abstract method now that's not implemented in the child class. And having this abstract method in the parent class uh, makes this a requirement that this needs to be implemented. So that's why you hear people say like ABCs are great for enforcing behavior to setting up the interface, right? So um, again, this was running um, when I did the minus M. It was actually entering in the name equals main. We have another video of what that means. Uh, it made an uh, instance and that's actually where it already uh, trips up. So if I delete this code, that's why we, where we should see the error. And to fix it, we just need to make sure we um, we implement this uh, abstract method in the child class. And then it works. And if I put um, these two back, we get the desired uh, behavior. Basically, it, uh, it called match content for unpacking, and it showed all the matching tips. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So remember. You can make a parent class, set the uh, meta class equals ABC meta, which is from the ABC package, define one or more abstract methods, call them anything, uh, optionally add type hinting, and then any class that uh, subclasses from this parent class needs to implement all the abstract methods. So again, a nice way to enforce interfaces. Uh, I don't use that a lot. Another thing you can look up in this context is the repository pattern, Cosmic Python book that also uses it. And um, that's a nice design pattern where you can see this in action as well. Let me look at the code. So here we see another example of an abstract repository. Uh, here, instead of the meta class, it just uses ABC directly. And it has two abstract method decorators. So any subclass of the abstract repository needs to have an add and a get method. Let's see if we see the implementation then. And here you see a possible implementation. So this is a subclass and it uh, implements add and get as per requirement. It also adds other methods, but these two are required. And there's another implementation, fake repository. Again, they also that subclass also implements add and get. So yeah, give this a read. It's a, it's a nice example 
how you can use this technique in the repository pattern. That's it. Uh, let me know if you want to see other Python videos or related developer mindset topics. Comment below and see you in the next video.